Hey guys, what's going on? T-Mart here, and I'm bringing you guys Breaking Down Black Ops episode 4, maybe? Is it? That seems kind of low. I don't know. I need to do more of these. I know I've been slacking a little bit. A lot of you guys seem to like this series. I will definitely continue it into Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3, but uh, anyway, today we are going to be playing some Demolition on Array, and I've got a pretty good video for you guys, some pretty cool breakdowns, so if we get into it here, uh, as you can see, off the start of the match, usually both teams are going to rush down this cliffside and they're going to meet each other somewhere in that middle orangish area and uh, I want to take advantage of this so what I usually try to do is throw a grenade to blow up the jeep and I know you guys probably already know that if you don't you want to make sure you blow up that jeep as you can see it was a little bit short but uh, you really really want to try to hit it blow it up and you'll get a quad a, at least you know at least a kill almost every single time so um I fill the grenade and I'm waiting here on this little snow cat thing and this is a great way to counter the people who are going to be sitting on that jeep the entire time. Uh, you're always going to find guys that are going to be sitting behind the hood of that jeep and it's really hard to take them out. You got to be really careful. So I led with a stun and I'm able to push up here and I believe I actually do get the plant on the V-bomb right away. So this is going to be pretty good. Do I get it? Ooh, I almost got grenaded, but yeah, I did. So uh, the other team is spawning all the way over on that other side now, so it's going to be really, really tough for them to uh, to take me out unless it's a grenade. Uh, anyway, you can see I moved over into the array building, and this is very, very, very important. But before we get to that, let's take a look at what I just did here. Let's rewind it back, and uh, you're going to see I hip-fired and then went to aiming down sight. And you always, always, always want to do that when you have an assault rifle at close range, guys. Make sure you you get those initial hits because those will knock the enemy off target and then finish them out by aiming down sight but uh, if we take a look at my positioning here up in the top of the array building and the roundhouse you're gonna see that I have two great lines of sights over each bomb there as you can see the red areas is where you can see over the top of the bomb <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, this is really good guys because uh, as you can see I just run over to A, kill the diffuser, kill his buddy, then I can run all the way back to B and Definit if I want and I can even kill the enemies off spawn. As you can see the guys I'm killing right here, these guys have just spawned so if you want to let's take a look at an overhead view. We're going to see where the enemy team will spawn in this position. As you can see they're going to spawn on that back wall of that cliff there. There's one spot right here, another spot right here so if you watch those and watch the bombs you're going to be good to go and uh, really just uh, I thought that this gameplay showed the uh, the importance of the power position on array of being able to hold this roundhouse. If your team doesn't have control of the roundhouse on array, then you're going to be pretty much screwed in whatever you're trying to do. And if you ever have a chance, make sure you get up to this spot because as you're going to see here, I racked up an 8 kill streak with no problem at all. So make sure you check this out, guys. But I'm going to skip most of the second half here. There was just nothing that really went on. I feel like this series is more about breaking down decisions and situations and stuff. And if I was just in a chopper gunner the whole time and raping face and why would I want to show that so uh, anyway we're on to our last kind of decision here what should I do in this position should I shoot him should I be patient or should I run away I should definitely be patient as you can see up in the top left on the radar he had an enemy with him so I want to make sure I can see both of those enemies before I start firing so I make sure that his teammate can't turn on me and then I'm able to take out the fuser and take out some guys off spawn so uh, that's pretty much the end of the game guys if you all enjoyed it make sure you give it uh, like or a favorite or whatever you want to do uh, if this is on machinima then make sure you come over to my channel and check me out if you enjoyed the video uh, thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it i will catch you all later see ya